Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at ClickFunnels Funnel Flicks. And what they did is they had a million training programs, as you all know, because we're all in ClickFunnels. And they put them into this thing that they called Funnel Flicks, supposed to be a takeoff on Netflix, I guess. And what they did is instead of building this inside of ClickFunnels, they decided that they were going to build it inside of WordPress. And there are some very good reasons, and I'll show you in, in a second here what the main reason is why they would have wanted to do this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can essentially replicate this entire site, use it as a membership site, even use it as a multiple membership site or a multi-membership site where you could have auto logins to each one of the memberships and then be able to have everything built right here in ClickFunnels and never have to leave ClickFunnels and have all the functionality of being able to go from lesson to lesson and course to course right all built inside of here. So first couple things I want to show you on here is of course you see the layout and we got you know different columns and rows and things like that and all this can be built right inside of ClickFunnels. Now they do have a slider down here. I did not build in the slider. I could have built in the slider. I have other trainings on how to build sliders like this. But in this case here, I just looked at it and I said, how many people are really going to have 40 different training programs where a slider would even come in handy at all? And because you can just keep scrolling down the page here and you just keep seeing more and more and more lessons. So I just kind of felt that, you know, for this instance right here, this wasn't really necessary. And so if you come along the top up here, you have um, everything will turn black as you as you uh, hover over it. In this case here, these are all just links to, this is a link to another training. This is a link to a training that I'm not part of. So what it actually does is it brings you right back to this page. And this here is to the ClickFunnels community, which is actually a forum. And then you have this search button here. And the search button is my understanding why the main reason why they went out and did this onto WordPress, because in WordPress, you could take all of the information, all the content, all the verbiage, all the videos, and of course, put it into the WordPress database. And that's the beauty of having WordPress is you build out this database. It's 100% database driven. And so it made it easier for them to be able to put in this search functionality. So you can just put in search there and I'll just type in the word like funnel and then it will pull up all kinds of different training that they have on funnels and of course that would probably be just about everything in here now i was not able to build that of course into click funnels and i frankly again i don't know as though it's necessarily that important to have because uh, again, most people are not going to have 40 different training programs. You're going to have three or four or five, and you just want to have this kind of a format and this kind of a look, and so that's why I built this out. Now, as you start clicking on things in here, you're going to find, like if I click on a virtual hackathon, all that does is it just opens up this membership site that is ClickFunnels. So it's just a, a, you click on the link, takes you straight into this membership site, and auto logs you in. And like I said, I have training on how to do auto logins, um, how to do multiple membership sites. So I'm not going to talk about that in this video. That'll be for a totally different video. But then you come down here and you click on high ticket secrets. And first off, it takes you to this page. And you're going to see this format, this layout on a lot of the different pages. And then as we click on start the course, it then again will auto log you in to a membership area. If we go to uh, 30 days right here, and we click on that and we got a little bit different layout than we had here on high ticket. Here we had an image at the top, text at the bottom. Here we have text at the top and a video at the bottom. But beyond that is exactly the same layout. And so you got the exact same curved corners and I mean everything is exactly the same. They just flip flopped a couple of elements inside of here. And I'll show you in a minute how to build out this entire area. And then when you click on start the course, it opens up the course right inside of here. So you go straight away from this page to this page. And again, I'll show you how I built this as the course section right inside of uh, ClickFunnels here. So now we come back here 
And back to the dashboard. And the next one I had here was Funnel oh, Funnel Hacker TV, which you saw just slide off. The, oh, here it is right here coming back on the screen. So if you click on that, you're going to come to this page, which is now the second one of what I'm calling the preview pages, the second layout on the preview page. So you have essentially what you saw here in a taller format. You Basically, you take out some of the content, it shrinks down and becomes the shorter format. And then over here, you can click on um, any of these lessons down here at the bottom, or you can click on Start Course, and that will take you to this next page where, again, you see the same format as we saw over here with Trey Llewellyn, and it's just repeated one on top of each other for multiple lessons on that same page. And the only thing I didn't build out in here is... Again, this was getting a little bit fancy over here, so I just put in some numbers instead of the way they did it over there. But otherwise, if you click on anywhere in here, it will again also open up that next page where there's the lessons on top of it. So we'll go back here and we'll take a look at Russell's one more time. And now we'll come over and we'll look at my version of it. And you see here at the top, my images are slightly off and we click back and forth you're going to see a slight variation on everything, and I could clean that up and make it perfect, but I'm not going to bother with that. It's uh, close enough for me. And so on mine here, I have it set the same way. You could have like three, three items to click across the top, could take you to different trainings, could take you anywhere you want to take it. But on hover, they turn black and let you know that you're hovering on them. And I set Funnel Flicks here as basically the home page. I left that one black all the time. Now for me, because again, I don't have access to a WordPress database in order to do this, I just did a little bit of animation here so that everything kind of spins around a little bit as it opens up. And then I just put in the search element right here, even though I frankly have never really been able to have much luck with getting the search element to work. So I probably, if I were to build this out for real, I would not even include this. I just included it because they had it on theirs and I wanted to show that you could do this, put it in there as you click on it, opens up the whole thing and you could have all kinds of content in here. So you could have a sidebar of some sort, a menu over here. You could have anything you want that you could open and close just by clicking on an icon up here at the top. So there's a lot of different places where that would come in handy. And then as we come through the content, you see as we hover over each image, image gets a little bit bigger. I have that all throughout the page. And then um, down here and on all of them, I have a little bit of spacing in between just to give them a little room. Got a little bit of a slight line that runs through here. The words just like they had on theirs. And otherwise, it's pretty much the same at that point. But now, as you know, in here, if I clicked on Funnel Hacking Secrets, it would open up, you know, another tab for the most part. Let me just, uh, I'll just click on it. Now let's just try the high ticket secrets here. If I click on that, it will actually take me to the high ticket secrets, what I call the preview page. So let's go back there. But it does load a new page. And I didn't like the fact that it loaded a new page. So what I did, and because, again, this is built right inside of the ClickFunnels membership area, what I was able to do is when we click on this image, what we have is we have the preview page slide down. So we'll just slide it back up again here and we just have it slide down and you can see the whole page right there. And again, this page looks very, very similar to this page right there. So I made it as close as I possibly could between the two of them. Here, let me slide that down. So it's very close. My, I see my text is off here a little bit, but it's, it's, it's close enough because no one's going to go back and forth and compare them anyway. So and then I got some breadcrumbs up here at the top just like they had. And so let me see here. Yeah, they had their breadcrumbs right there. So we have breadcrumbs here, and we go uh, when we click on the dashboard, then everything will scroll back up and we'll come back to the dashboard itself. Or we can click up here on Funnel Flicks, and it will also slide up and go back to the dashboard. Now from here, we can click on Start the Course. Now, in this point here, uh, what they would have done is you start the course, you click on it, and you go to an outside uh, membership area, so a completely different membership area, and have you auto log in. With mine, the way I built it, every one of these would have internal lessons, but like I said, you can do the other, and I have other training on that. So here we click on Start the Course, and it slides down and looks just like what we had here for Trey Llewellyn's content. 
we have the exact same thing here. We have a video on the left. We have some text and we have a button down there as well. And then here we can click on the, um, on the breadcrumbs again and we can toggle back and forth between the lessons themselves and where it says a high ticket secret. So we can go back and forth between the lessons, the actual content, and go back and forth between that and what I'm calling the preview page. So now if we come back in here and we go to the second one, so here I have the shorter version of this. So that would be the equivalent of this right here. So this is the shorter version of it. Like I said, it's basically the same, except we took out some of the content, and so it squishes it up together. And so mine, again, is pretty close. I, I just noticed I'm off a little bit on the sizing there. I can maybe work on that, uh, make that a little thinner. But again, nobody's going to compare the two of these. And so then here I did the same thing where they had something a little bit more fancy down here. I just dropped in some, some images. You can use anything you wanted in here as well. And then I made these all hyperlinks so that when you click on them, they again will take you to the lessons themselves. And again, all the lessons are set up exactly the same way. So whether we click on start course or if we click on one of the lessons down here at the bottom, we get the same result. And then if we click on funnel flicks, it takes us back to the dashboard. And then we can just do the same thing with Two Comma Club. We've got the shorter version here, nothing underneath. And here again, we click on Start the Course, and it opens up the content right on the page. So I think it's a pretty elegant solution to be able to have what essentially is going to amount to as many courses as you want to put on here and have people then be able to go from here to a preview page, then be able to pick out essentially what could be a section, and then you go through and you could have, you know, five, six, ten videos all right here on this page.